Hello, my name is Method. In this video, we're showing guys how to install a Vorp Core Red M server in 2024. Start off, head over to MerritDB, go to download up here, go down to Merit Community, go down to versions, download whatever OB OS you are using. I'm going to go to MS Windows and then hit click download. After that's done downloading, go ahead and open up the MSI folder, hit next. Yeah, accept, hit next, but because I already made one, it's asked me this, but because I already made one, I don't want to make it one again, so I'm just going to hit no and cancel it. But you need to go through it, and then when you're done, click finish. Close out of your folder. Then head it over to the redm.net website. Hit create your own server. Hit host your own server. Go to setting up a server using TX admin. Click Windows Server Build Listing and click then when is that when that is done go to wherever you want to put your folder i'm gonna put it in here create a new folder call it whatever you want i'm gonna call it corp core server open it click new click new folder then type tx data after that is done go to where you downloaded your server files Open your server files, hit control A, or drag and select all, and then drag it over to your TX data folder. When that is done, open up the TX data folder, scroll down to where it says fxserver.exe, open up the fxserver.exe, and then just wait. After waiting a little bit, this website should open up, hit link account, hit continue, or sign in, whatever you need to do. Then create a password. Hit I have read and agree to the C R X agree to us, and as well as the T S admin license. Hit next. Name your server what you want to call it. I'm just going to call it Vorpcore. Hit next. Go to popular recipes. Scroll down to Vorpcore for Red M. Click it. Hit save. Then hit to go to recipes. Hit next. Go to Keymaster. Hit sign in. Because I already have one, I'm going to trash it. Then go over to new server. Click it. Name it whatever you want to call it. I'm just going to call it Vorpcore. Hit I'm not a robot. And then hit generate. Then copy this key. Go over to the server deployer. Paste this key into your TX admin thing. You could do a Steam web API, but I'm not doing that for now. Hit run and run recipe. Exit out this. Once everything is done and downloading, hit next. Scroll down and hit save and run. After everything is done downloading in your TX admin console, we do need to set up a Steam API. Head over to your resource folder inside your TX data. Go to your cf.config. And then in here you will find your Steam API. API key. How we can go to this website, which is Steam Community slash dev slash API key. Make a Steam API key because I already have one. I'm just going to copy this and then paste it into my Steam Web API key. Hit save. Start back up your server. When that is done setting up, head back over to Redm. When you're into Redm. Hit connect to EXPC or whatever it's called. Once you are officially loaded into your server, go ahead and select your make, make your character. I did not mean to click woman, but okay. I'm just gonna go with the default because it's just a um, it is just a test. So I'm just going to. There you have it. You have successfully made a Vorb Core base server. You have all you need. You have a bunch of locations you can go to. You have the sheriff's office. You have clothing stores. You have all of the things you need. You can also use the TX admin panel by hitting whatever you have it marked or just going to TX. And you can like no club around. You can do whatever you want. So. Thank you guys for watching. 
guys liked this video, please like and subscribe. Please. If you guys need any help, I'm willing to help you in my Discord or in the comments section. Or if I do not respond, um, hopefully someone else can because I'm pretty busy nowadays. So, thank you guys for watching. Bye-bye.